This is Kuben Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Fight camp is over. The finale ended in a spectacular knockout for Mr. Joshua Vuatsi. First of all, how are you, mate? I'm not too bad, Kug. Um, not too bad. Got the win, most importantly. As you know, I always say that's what's that's what's all, always about. But um, I'm in good spirits, man. Got the win. Good fighter. Give credit to him, man. He pushed me every round. Um, even when I put him down, I was like, yep, close the show. He weathered the storm and I thought, yep, why was you trying to close the show too early? But I had to get through a few rounds and then um, shot landed, ref called it off. But um, good fighter, man. Um, he pushed me every round. I got into a little thing with Eddie Hearn in my post-fight interview because I said that you'd watch it back and you'll be critical as you always are over all your performances. So he kind of pulled me and said, why would he be critical? And I said, because that's how Boazzi is. Even if he was, to us, he looks good and clinical in the finish, etc. you'll still be critical of your own performance. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, I'm going to watch it and I'm going to be like, ah, why was I doing that? Why was I doing this? As almost Kug, we're chasing perfection. We, we won't get it, but we're almost chasing it. That's what makes us good fighters. And that's how you improve and you always want to get on top. But um, I'm just grateful, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> this, this seemed like the perfect fight for you tonight. You said, you said that. The perfect yeah. learning yeah. fight, because people that have kind of followed Bolotniks over the last few fights know yeah. that he's beat very good fighters in that golden yeah. contract. So now, now you've beaten him in emphatic fashion. Yeah. Uh, you, need to get, you need to have the credit for that. Yeah, man, Ku, you, you said that um, even when I saw you at the beginning of the week, you said, Josh, this is a good fight, very, very good fight. And my team said, this will be a good gauge to see where I'm at. Um, I've known I can do stuff like this. It was just getting the opportunity to show it and to do it. It came, we did it, and um, yeah, people know what they know now. So um, we just keep, keep building and we keep moving. Um, a dangerous opponent that I, I heard many people said no to fighting, but when we were given the offer, we said, yeah, we'll take it. Fair play to Bel Belotniks. He, yeah, and he, uh, after the, obviously the, the knockdown in the mid rounds, he kind of weathered that storm from yourself and, yeah. and put himself back in the fight. And then, yeah, you had to, a little bit of a grind out to, to get that knockout. Yeah, I had to work hard, man. I went back to boxing. Um, and like I said, it came out of nowhere. Um, wasn't looking for it. It was just a shot that landed. Um, and the referee called it off. But it was a great fight. I felt like it was entertaining. But again, I need to go back myself and watch it. We obviously know you went into Bolotnik's uh, dressing room yeah. as you would do. You do it with every opponent. Yeah, yeah. As far as I've seen, what did you say to him? I just said, congratulations, you're a champion. You're tough. You pushed me every round. He said, good fighter, very tough, Joshua. And I said, you're tough, man. Um, it, it, he came and he, he said it was going to be a street fight, this, that and that. I don't think it was what some rounds probably were, but he was tough, man. Whenever I thought I'd hurt him, he wasn't hurt. I hit him with some hard shots from, from, from what I felt anyways, but he took it, he weathered it, and um, he had a good poker face. But again, it was just, the coach said, Josh, you're breaking it down. I said, cool. So I just stuck to what I was being told in the corner, and um, we got the win in the 11th. Eddie Hearn has obviously outlined the plan for your next six months is to get you out again at some point and then the Bivol fight. He wants the Bivol fight for you and I'm sure that's a fight that you you will relish as well. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not shying away from um, these fights. and we, we, we said it ages ago, man, but we needed the, the bridging fight and that was one of them. Um, we'll see who they line up next, but as you know, I'll go away, I'll work diligently hard and um, I'll come out here and I'll perform again. Without obviously having watched the fight back, I'm sure you'll do that over the next day or so, but just over that 11 rounds, what did you really learn from that tonight, do you think, just without having watching it back? Um, just that it's 12 rounds, man. <laughs> if you have a good round and you're trying to take someone out, it's all well and good, but you need to do the maths to see how many rounds you've got left. I tried it in six, and when I sat down, I said, oh, I think we've got six left. I said, I might be in trouble, but I was determined, man. My coach said, how are you feeling? How's your condition? I said, I'm here, like, I'm, I'm here. We've, I've done it before many times in sparring. So I said, I'm here. So, um, yeah, it was just about showing it out there to people. What did Virgil say about your performance? Um, I still haven't seen him after the fight, to be fair. I had to do the interview straight away, but I feel like he was pleased with it. He just said, keep believing. Um, even when the referee took away the points, I looked at him and he, trying to see what he was saying. He just said, be great. That's all he said. He didn't, he didn't say, do this, do that. He just said, be great. And I said, cool, let's be great then. 
just finally, one thing obviously we're seeing from you is that you're becoming one of the most clinical finishers in the division. Uh, we've talked about that kind of spiteful streak. When you want to turn it on, you can turn it on. Yeah, um, that's the nature of the sport, Coog. And um, I, again, I won't single myself out, but when it's time to take someone out, and I said it pre-fight, pre that if I see any vulnerability, um, I'll take him out. And, and that's what happened, and that's how, it was that's how it was executed. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we finish, mate? Um, what did I say to you at the beginning of the week? Every day above the ground, it's a good day. So it's a good day indeed, man. Um, I'm grateful for everything, man. So we go back, we have some time off, and then we're back out again in the winter. So I'm looking forward to that. I feel like we need to shout out his tattoo at some point as well. <laughs> I will. <laughs> He wants to talk about your tattoo on here. I'm it's not involved. Too. I'm not involved, bro. Well, I said I would, so. <sighs> Do you want to show it? Up. Is it a cat? Is it a wolf? <laughs> Dig it up, Josh. Where's the. Um, yeah, my manager got a nice tattoo. If you see him, tell him to roll up the sleeve. I feel like right now we need to do an insert of this tattoo. Bro, he's hotting you up. I'm not down. Get it out. Come here. What? what? You're going to do it? Let him have his moment. Come on. If you want me to show it, then I won't show it. It's entirely up to you. They can comment below what they think it is. Hold on a sec, let me just pan it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Don't make that face. No, no. Guy, <laughs> guys, guys, right 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 what, what, yeah, thank you. what is that, people? Comment below what you think it is. Comment below what you think it is. A butterfly. Yeah, a stick. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne, you're supposed to pick me up. Yeah, it's a scribble. A what? A no, it's not a snake. Apparently, no, Coog, tell them what it is. No, no, Coog, Coog, tell them what it is. It's up for debate. It's a cat. It's not a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat. We spent an hour talking about his title earlier. I thought we had to bring it in somewhere. Coog, I'm glad you brought it up. Like this, have comment below. Tell us what you think it is. JB, congratulations. Fantastic win. That. Good fight for you tonight and uh, you onwards and upwards to the next one. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you.